All right, uh, the other video cut off, so let's consider this a part two video on the review. Um, here what I want to show you is um, there's a manual for Yamaha. Right now I have uh, Apple TV connected to it. So let's go and let's see what the manual looks like. Okay, here the light should turn off in a second, so I'm going to show you. Here you have, um, you push this button here, this button which says on screen, and you get on screen menu, right? First thing you'll see is input. If you, if you click enter, you will notice um, your input selection is at the bottom, okay? So, anything you want to choose from, Blu-ray, multi-channel dock, USB, net radio, PC, you can select. Then if you press up, you'll notice um, a separate menu. Well, I don't want to connect to Pandora. Let me see. Okay, let's do something else here. Okay. Let's select game and put game. What are you doing? And uh, when you select the input game, then you have menu, you can go up. From there you can rename and select your icon. So that's how rename looks like. You can change the name of the uh, of the input, and you can also select uh, icon, okay. And then uh, decoder mode, for example, in this auto or DTS. It depends on you know whichever you select to your liking. Okay, so that's that's input, right? Then you have sound program, and the same setup. You would select. Um, the sound that you like. In in this case, I have role-playing game. I usually play Call of Call of Duty, so this works for me. If you select up, then you have a whole bunch of different options that you can choose from. Um, the ones that are blacked out, you cannot select. So it depends on which which uh, sound mode you select, then you will have more options to choose from or less options to choose from. Okay, so let's go back to the menu again. Here we have setup. Setup is pretty simple. It's either auto setup, and then from there you go and you select uh, uh, your measuring position. You can measure your your um, you know you can do your. Uh, it's kind of like the Odyssey calibration, but Yamaha has their own system. So you can select that and do calibrations for your um, for your speakers. Uh, also, it, it will let you adjust the angle. That's a, kind of a new one. The receiver comes with like a, a plate where you place the microphone on, and it basically somehow figure figures out the angle of your speaker, uh, like where it's positioned, you know, in re in, uh, in in the reference to your sitting position. Um, here you have manual setup. That's a little bit more in depth here, and you can select. Uh, your seating pattern. You can select to copy the data that was that was done with automatic calibration. Power amp assign. This is a nice feature here. You can basically select um, which outputs from the speakers will be on and which ones will be off. Uh, let's see, let's see. For example, here I have selected 11 channel speaker setup, uh, and I have the extra, uh, the the I have the Yamaha running the three front speakers, the the left, center, and the right, and also as you can see, I have Yamaha running the front present speakers. Okay, external amps I have connected to uh, the rear present, and also which you can't see here, but I'm using a pre-out to run the surround speakers, okay? Uh, this is how the configuration looks like after automatic calibration. 
so the you know uh, pretty much all speakers are selected to small by that's how the system set it up and as you can see the uh, the front is is cut off at 120 the center all uh, the left and right is at 90 and all the other ones are at 110 so um, these speakers as you can see are pretty evenly matched uh, Mr. Uh, CDR certified um, as you can see they're pretty much you know THA certified speakers usually cut off at 80 but you know that they sound pretty good as it is you can change that obviously distance it automatically tells you, tells you distance of each individual speakers uh, each individual speaker as you can see here and it's pretty accurate you know because I actually measure it with with the tape and it's it's quite quite good um, level um, as you can see here equalizer is is uh, automatic Yamaha test tone okay so that, that that's how um, manual setup looks like ABC that's obviously language uh, then you have function uh, function you know auto power down as you can see input assignment uh, display set do you want a front panel display do you want it dimmer zero you know do you want the scroll to continue um, there's a lot of options you know I don't know is I don't know if it's as many as the Denon head um, I just wish that the quality of this uh, manual would be a little nicer okay um, what else do we have here? Memory guard, you can you can basically uh, turn that on, and what that does, it, it's going to prevent you from changing any settings accidentally. Multi zone, zone two, three, digital out assign, uh, party mode, uh, which will basically party mode will let you play your music source on all all the zones. I don't use the zones at all because all my all my speakers are pretty much here um, then you have network and by the way with network what I want to give you kind of an advice on this receiver unlike Denon has uh, Ethernet connection uh, so it does not have wireless um, and the way I, w I worked around it was I you can purchase um, it's, it's a small little different companies make it, it it's a small little box which uh, what it does basically it connects the receiver to the um, Ethernet you, you connect the cable from the Ethernet on the receiver to this little device then you plug into the device into a power source in this case uh, what I liked about it was is that it's powered by USB so I can actually use my uh, Panamax 4300 which is one USB output powered uh, and I I power that device with uh, with uh, uh, Panamax, and I will explain in a different video why I did to, did it the way I did it. Um, but anyway, by doing so, this actually receiver connects to the network wirelessly. Uh, because I be, I'm in this room, I, I really I can't really I don't have a way to run a wire. So receiver is connected wirelessly and it works really really nice with no problem HDMI control if you have a device that's um, like a TV that's controlled by HDMI you can select that option and I believe that proved to work with like Apple TV for example because when the receiver is off and the Apple TV is off and I turn the receiver on select the Apple TV input the Apple TV turns on uh, here you have analog to analog conversion I don't use that because everything is you know HDMI processing um, I have on um, depends if I watch blu-ray from uh, Denon 4010 uh, I believe that Denon 4010 has better processing so I would turn that to off and have direct pass through from HDMI sound you have um, oh, as you can see uh, well, I'm not going to read all that but this is the options that you can select um, and that's it. That's that's pretty much um, set up. Information. It will tell you, for example, here which speakers are running at the present time. Audio signal. So, um, 
in order to have all 11 channels running at the same time you need to have um, selected uh, Dolby ProLogic X I believe um, because if you don't then you'll have everything running except for the surround back speakers okay but they all should turn um, yellow okay uh, zone system it tells you what the speakers are you can select the speaker uh, see I have a six ohm speakers here and the firmware version network video resolution um, HDMI resolution okay so that's menu here information scene like I showed you on the phone different scenes you can select right here up to 12 you can customize them uh, input we were there before and that's it so that's menu is pretty simple there's also let me select uh, Apple TV here uh, there's also uh, another button here I'm going to show you this one here it's called uh, option you hit that button it gives you another option of tone control adaptive DRC cinema DSP 3D mode that's the mode that's kind of new um, which was um, actually first implemented in the RXZ 11 uh, but it's now here and you can select that on to off or off uh, that's a that's what is that? Uh, that's display. That's what happens when you hit display. Okay. All right. Option. Dialog lift. That's what I told you about. You can lift that dialog up or down. Um, extended surround. That's the, what I was telling you about. If you want to have all the eleven channel speakers, all eleven speakers running, that's when you need to turn on. Okay, volume trim, enhancer, and video adjustment. Okay, I don't know exactly what that does. It just has video adjustment from one to five, I think. I don't know exactly what that does. Okay, so that's how menus look like. Um, again, you can see the remote in the dark when I hit the, the button here. And actually, these buttons here light up too. You just camera can't see it. Um, so that's pretty much uh, what the menu looks like. Um, it's it's a very nice receiver. I'm very happy with it. You know, uh, I don't know what else I can tell you about this. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, if you would like me to make another video on it, uh, you saw pretty much the back back uh, back plate when I did the opening box video. So you see how many connections it has. Uh, it has a front HDMI, obviously, USB, iPod ready. Um, that's pretty much what I can tell you about it. Thank you for watching.